Hello, Gary. Greetings from Toronto. Bonnie, oh, you know I love Toronto. Oh, boy, do I have her. Listen, I covered that thing you do. I mean, I remember that at TIFF. Oh, my goodness. We go way back. Did you come to Stop Making Sense at TIFF? I, yeah. Oh, oh, thrill of a lifetime. How fun was uh, that? Oh, my, I can't even. I wish we had an hour, Gary. I honestly do. We but will, I want to thank you. Oh. Well, we'll talk about brilliant. other stuff sometime. Yeah. We will. We will. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll be, when you come back to Toronto, we'll have a coffee, okay? A coffee on Queen Street. You got it, my friend. Good. Listen, good. this series is beyond amazing. I, I love it. And I love a good series where I have to Google after every episode because it's based on real, you know, real people. And I was just riveted by these men. Good. And what they do what they did. Where do you guys even start when you have to put together such a massive production? Where do we start? Well, if starting is in the idea. You know, it's the, it's the, you, know, you can be dead on arrival uh, with a bad original idea, but, um, but we feel pretty safe in our World War II uh, nest. And, uh, and we're usually pushed to do them. There is impetus for people to, you know, want to push us forward. And then we engage and, and just start try, trying to find the best story um, and, uh, and then figure out, okay, we're going to do the story. How do we do it? And right. uh, those aren't too simultaneous. So it kind of goes, well, okay, here it is. Now what? How are we going to do 500 planes in the air at once? You know, yeah. we realize later, there's no way we could have done this any sooner. You know, it really is about at the time it had to be. We were, we were at the edge of the technology anyway. Um, right. So that was it. Yeah. And then you look at this phenomenal cast. Um, not all well-known guys, you know, some, uh, you know, but they're all at the, the cusp of their careers. Nobody. They're all, when you look back at some of the other stuff you've done, and then you see, you know, where those guys, and then you look at these guys. Bonnie, I we, mean, we had... We had always done fine. Just remember, they're young too. So, you know, there aren't a lot of stars who are young. And we always did better with Band and with Pacific. And with this one, we basically, in general, went to yeah. unknown actors. And we would cast them and find them and train them. And, and it was always exciting. I mean, there's nothing more exciting than the cast that we have and because yeah. it's taken us so long to get done with the show, they've popped. You know, Oscar was not a movie star before. Yeah. Callum Turner's exactly. a movie star now. Uh, Barry Keoghan's a movie star. Um, yeah. Shooty um, from our Tuskegee crew is Doctor Who. How crazy is this? Anthony yeah. Boyle, he can star on a BBC series anytime he wants. And newcomer yeah. Nate Mann, he's working as a, in, in movies also. So... It's brilliant. It's exciting. Yeah. 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 And, and I mean, look, you know, Tom obviously has worked with Austin. You know, when they worked together on the Elvis film, like, did Tom see something? He didn't know Austin? yet. He didn't know yet. It didn't, yeah. it, it really, they had such a stop start of their production. They spent so much time down there True. in Brisbane. Yeah. As you remember, Tom and Rita got COVID. They were like COVID, yeah. the poster children. And, uh, yeah, and it, and it was really one of those. Uh, we had, we had a great casting person, Lucy ben Bevan, and she would, you know, get us kind of organized, because you got to stay organized with 325 speaking parts, and all Zoom. All of this was done on Zoom, wow. so we would get down. Thing we were down to like a couple, three people on all the leads, and I realized that Austin was going to play Elvis. And that he was down there, and I called Tom, and they hadn't really started shooting. But I said, Tom, what do you think of this Austin Butler guy? And he said, solid citizen, man. Think he's a real deal. <laughs> that was it. They're, That's how they're we talk. All the real deals. We do kind of think of that. Solid citizen. Yeah, but, really. but Gary, they're all the real deals. And I and just to, to wrap it up, you know, when you see the finished product of this, and like I said, you know, how at the end, I, I was literally bawling my head off knowing what these real men went through, the, the end and credits. Dakota, yeah. I mean, Love seriously. That. We weren't you thinking. Gotta... It's one of those weird ones where we were not thinking about matching characters at all. We, we just weren't. And then when, when this Coda 
thing came about because I was like, man, we got to tell, they need the cards. We got to tell people what happened to these guys. It's just too exciting. And, yeah. and started lining up their eyes, you know, they really all kind of look alike. Even Isabel May looks like Marge in a glint in her eye. You know what I mean? He, he's very different yeah. looking Clevin and, Cle and Austin, but they're, uh, they, there's something about them where they really caught the vibes of these people. And the Tuskegee guys, oh my God, how beautiful, yeah. how cool. Yeah. You really like it. It really is. It's just, it's brilliant. I absolutely loved this series. So oh. thank you so much for everything that you've given us over the years. Thank and, you. And uh, just, just keep coming back keep with more. Okay? That's all I ask. Call me about the sidebar stuff. I love that. Hilarious. I would love to. Another time, 100%. You bet. Thank you, sweetie. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care. Love.